Hello, and I'll be your host, Steel, for this little video. We're all used to resistors. It's one of the, probably the first things we learn when we get into electronics. I'm sure you're used to your common resistors. There's common values that you can buy. Every now and then, you'll need something really precise. A resistor that's specific, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, I learned this trick from an old friend that was in electronics. He actually did this in the military around the, I think, Vietnam era. And when they built stuff, they had to be real specific on their tolerances. And he would have to dial in resistance down to less than a percent. And this was back before you could get the 2% and 1% tolerance resistors, too. So I'll let you come over here and look over my shoulder while I'm showing you how to do this. All right, so here's our setup. And what this demonstration is going to be is to show you how to actually dial in a resistor and we chose a random resistor out of our box and we got it here in our little panavise. This panavise has plastic jaws so we don't get any feed over and we can monitor it. Now here on our multimeter we see that we're at 221 ohms and for y'all that are playing along at home that don't have the color codes memorized we have a red red brown red. These are handy little things you can get these cheap off the internet we use these when we first started before we had the color codes memorized and if we dial it in here red red brown it shows that this should be 220 ohms with a 2% tolerance and we're at 221.1 according to our multimeter. Now what we're going to do is take this little round file now you can use a chainsaw file or whatnot this is just a small hobby file and we're actually going to file some of this resistor away now getting through this outer coating is the hard part this is very finicky you have to be real careful one little file will change this a lot and it takes a lot of practice to really get the hang of this and it will only raise the resistance you can't lower it this way so if you're wanting to get 225 236, a very specific resistance, choose something that's close and lower and start from there and you can file and it'll go up. This does, however, change the wattage slightly, ever so slightly, but it, take that into account. This is a half watt resistor. If you're bordering on a half a watt running through this, choose the next size up on your wattage because you are going to compromise that slightly. So basically what we want to do is just start and file across and you can immediately see this going up now we have just barely filed in through the outer coating of this and we're already almost up to 222 ohms and as we barely go across you see the meter changing we're up to 223 you you get a feeling of how easy it is to dial in these numbers though and this helps you if you need a very specific resistance it's rare but sometimes you do and you can keep going on this keep going up and my suggestion what we've learned is we're, we're into this pretty good now you might want to turn the resistor and start on another side and don't get too much into it there is a I would say there's a limit to how much you want to file in before you really start compromising wattage and integrity of the resistor but you can see we're already up five more ohms 5.2 more ohms of resistance from our original starting point just continue around file around it takes a lot of practice before you can really dial this in you want a really fine file that's my suggestion really fine tooth file to do this and when you're done, you can go back over this with a fingernail polish or a shellac if you want to. It's really not crucial that you do that. And it's just one of those little tips. Like I stated, I learned this from an older guy that was in a, doing electronics in the military. And they had them do this for certain counters and stuff that had to be just dead on. Perfect. All right. Well, I hope you found that informative. And leave us some comments. You might have some other tips similar to this about you know this old stuff that people don't do anymore leave us some comments down below come visit our facebook page it has the same name as the youtube channel that you're on right now and have fun with electronics hope you like it